welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you for always coming back to watch my videos in case it's a very first time here welcome my name is d mwango and uh, you know how we do it to so give the video a like and let me know where you're watching from and if at all it's your very first time here consider subscribing and join the squad so let me know for those who are live where are you watching from you know what? let me have a sip eh? this is water guys so yeah Hmm. wow let me know where you're watching from and give the video a like guys and have you missed me i really 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 missed you and i'm glad to be live today and give the video a like guys so i want to give the first shout out to the people who are tuning in okay so i can see helen george's lifestyle says heidi barbara james says see you lisa i see you jackie i see you Kayla, hi, Miss Anna, hi, Wasa, Emma, hi, how you doing, kind, watching from South Africa, oh my god, how you doing, Tayai Chibesa, hi, how you doing, guys, I really, 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 really missed you, I don't know if you did, and I was like, yo, today I really have to come live, and I need your help, guys, I need your help, you know, you're my, you're my family, you're part of me, and uh, yeah, I have to keep you updated, and I also want to hear what you really, you know, you really want to say about it, you know, so Dante, Fabright D, thank you so much, Yvonne, I see you, my dear, thank you so much, um, yeah, there's somebody here, Divikuti, hi, watching from India, Lisa says, nakupenda sana, nakupenda pia, oh my god, guys, I really love you, I don't know how to express my love to you, but, mwah. Tindi, I love you all, Sizzless Diaries, oh my god, how is my Tumenge doing, Sizzless Diaries, <laughs> I don't know if Tumenge is asleep, oh my god, I really miss you guys, you know, Jane, watching from UK, oh my god, guys, give the video a like if you haven't already, and let me know what, you, you know, where you're watching from before I express myself to you, and for sure, I really need your help, okay, so, uh emma tim d yeah uh, how you doing win ball i see you my dear thank you so much wasa onyoki hi how you doing hope you're doing fine guys and let me know where you're watching from okay i can see bernard hi lena watching from Mumba ah, watching from namibia oh my god i really miss namibia namibia is one is this one country that i have to go back but i have to go back more prepared <laughs> i mean i need to go back there with, with with good money that country is really really expensive but at the same time it's beautiful it's such a beautiful country to be in so guys today you want to have a live stream for like 30 minutes because i understand it's a little bit late you're so beautiful watching from trinidad, trinidad and tobago where cindy's locked in oh my god thank you so much blessings hello baby girl hello the third man hello from london bernard Muli watching from gong thank you so much vivian i see you thank you so much i Lynn, hi proud of you girl and the game thank you so much emma team d thank you Riffy, Heidi, Tulukume, and I'm missing. <laughs> I'm glad I'm alive and I made it here. And guys, let me know what you think about my outfit of the day. For those who don't follow me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Oh my God, really missing a lot. Please go follow me on Instagram at Mwango D. Okay, let's get to twenty thousand followers. Okay, so please head on my Instagram page, follow me there, and for sure you won't regret. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Guys, please give the video a like, give the video a like, give the video a like, and let me know where you're watching from. Smash that like button, smash that like button for your girl, and let me know what you think about my outfit, okay? So here we go. So apparently it's, it's cropish, and uh, I don't like it, eh? but uh, I can't show it fully because of the camera. I don't have somebody to hold the camera for me, but please go check me on Instagram, okay? And follow me there. And thank me later. <laughs> so guys, apparently from the title of the video, I need your help, guys. I really, really, really need your help. So currently, I'm in Namibia. Oh my God. 
I'm still dreaming of Namibia. I can't believe I'm still saying currently I'm in Namibia. So guys, currently I'm in Zambia. And please give the video a like, okay? The likes are so little, man. Please give the video a like to support your girl. And you can also share the live stream. Tell a friend to tell a friend. So guys, currently I'm in uh, Zambia, okay? To be specific, in Lusaka, the capital city. And uh, it's time for me to say goodbye. It's really time for me to leave this beautiful country. It has been amazing, but at the same time, I'm leaving, but I really don't know where to go, okay? So I was like, any suggestions, you know, because right now I'm in the southern part of Africa and I've been to Namibia, I've been to, yeah, I've been to Namibia, now I'm in Zambia, so I really need your help in um, choosing the next destination, like, why do, do you really think I should go? So, for those who are watching, if I told you are from the southern part of Africa, let me know. But I'm thinking either to do South Africa or Botswana, Mozambique or Zimbabwe. Those four countries. But at the same time, I'm confused, man. I really don't know where to go first, okay? But apparently, I'm in between all those countries. Like, I'm so close to Botswana. Uh, I'm so close to South Africa. I'm so close to Zimbabwe, also Mozambique, I'm just, I'm just so close, I'm not far away, so those four countries, I really don't know where to go first, so if you're watching, actually, if you're watching from those four countries, please, let me know, let me know, and let me know if I come, will you show me around, <laughs> please, let me know, guys, and uh, actually, I need to leave Zambia by Tuesday, okay, apparently, you know, I, I should just be leaving on Tuesday. So tomorrow is my last day here in Zambia. Currently, I'm in Lusaka. And I bet you we've had enough of uh, Lusaka. But uh, if there's any place maybe you thought I should really, really, really go, I should not leave Zambia without going, please let me know. But currently, I'm in Lusaka. And tomorrow should be my last day. Tomorrow is on a Monday. So on Tuesday, I should be leaving for my next destination. So... Let me know, let me know where do you think we should go. And if you're coming from the southern part of Africa in those four countries, I mean South Africa, uh, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Mozambique, Tindi. Let me know, let me know actually. And uh, please let's vote and please give me reasons, okay? Like, let me know which country would you really, really, really love to, to see. Because, you know, your wish is my command, okay? Where you choose is where I'll go. So, those four countries, South Africa, Botswana, um, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. Four countries, okay? Because I'm in between. You know, Zambia is just, it's kind of the center of all those countries. So, Tuesday, I should be going to a new country. So guys, let me know where do you think I should go, please. And if you're watching from those countries, kindly let me know. And please go follow me on Instagram. When you follow me on Instagram, it's normally very, very, very easy. Because every day I keep posting and you can easily know if I'm in your country. And if I tell you are a content creator, okay? And if you have positive energy, good vibes, I'll definitely meet you. But please go follow me on Instagram at D so that you can be updated if at all I want to be in your country. So guys, I need your help, please. So let's go, okay? I mean, let's go. Like, I want to read your comments. Like, um, let me know, like, the country which you guys will decide. That's where I'll basically go. But I'm really thinking of doing South Africa. If not South Africa, then I'll have to go to maybe Botswana. Or, Mo or Mozambique or Zimbabwe. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know where to go, guys. But please let me know. Let me know. And also, if you're living alone, okay, I'm always skeptical of staying with people. But if at all you're staying alone or you don't stay like so many people, I won't mind if you want to host me. But if you have family, kids, I find so I feel really, <laughs> really shy. But if maybe you're staying alone and you're a woman please feel free to hit me up i can only accept to be hosted by women <laughs> but i can also meet you if you're a man i can meet you during the day you can show me around your country but if you want to host me please only ladies okay <laughs> and don't be like d why only ladies also a man can host you please thank you if you're a man i really appreciate you but you can you can show me around in your country okay so 
I want to leave your comments and let me know what you really, really prefer. But currently, I strongly need your help. I'm just stuck. I don't know why it will be my last day here. Okay, so hopefully, I'll have come to a conclusion where to go. But uh, yeah, so let me know where you think I should go. And if you have any question, guys, let me know. And uh, for sure, I'll read it. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody Tilda says South Africa. Tilda, are you from South Africa? Let me know. Are you from South Africa? Peggy Royster, hello from USA. Thank you so much. Uganda, no, 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 no. For now, I'm in the southern part of Africa, so I can only do southern countries, please, for now, okay? Tilda, let me know if you're from South Africa. Safe travels, my friend. Hi, Dimwango. Call me, Abby. Thank you. Uh, visit men also. They are also good. <laughs> Guys, for some reasons, I can't, I can't be hosted by a man, okay? And really, but if I tell you have a nice hotel or somewhere, I can. But in your house, sharing a house with a man, no, no, no. No, no, no. That is not even possible. So, Tilda, please, that one, no. Thank you. <laughs> uh, D, come to Botswana. Oh, I got you. Come. I'll show you around. Helen, George's lifestyle, please follow me on Instagram at Mwango D. Maybe I'll be in Botswana on Tuesday. So for sure, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get to know my updates. Mwango D is my Instagram handle. Mwango D, just the other way around as my YouTube channel. Mwango D is my Instagram handle. So please go follow me there. Helen, George's lifestyle, please uh, follow me on Instagram so that in case I land in, um, in Botswana, we can, yeah. We can link up. Surprise. <laughs> okay, I need host in USA. Okay. <laughs> Distraction UK. I see you. South Africa. Barbara James, are you from Jamaica? You're not from South Africa. But let me know if you're watching from South Africa. D, I got you to come. I'll show you around. Okay, visit Madagascar. Dante. Wow. Also, Madagascar is a good country to visit. Maybe I'll consider going to Madagascar. Who knows? But... Right now, I just want to do the southern part of Africa, okay? So, so yeah, that's where I really want to go. Uh, I'm a Kenyan D living in Senegal. Oh, wow, Tilda, I was in Senegal, but I didn't know you are from Senegal. <laughs> but I really love Senegal. Um, Juba Bruce, thank you so much. Lesotho, Swaziland, and Eswatini. Okay, be careful of women who can try to set you up. Okay. Thank you. Visit Madagascar. It's in the south, I think. Yeah, for sure it's in the south. I'm following you already. Oh, thank you so much, Helen. Dante, Madagascar, Sri Lanka. Please visit Madagascar. It looks like you guys really want to see how Madagascar looks. Maybe we should do Madagascar, right? Hey, we're watching you from Zandil from Chanda Boutique. Oh, yeah. Agatha Chanda. Thank you so much. I'm rocking your outfits, man. Guys, if you're really looking for beautiful outfits, and remember, we can do deliveries worldwide. Please go follow Agatha Chanda. Go follow me. Go follow me on Instagram, and I really <laughs> recommend they have beautiful stuff. Agatha Chanda. Oh wow. Morris the Giant. Hello, hello, bestie. How you doing? Hope you're doing fine. Watching from South Africa, Tino Sparks. Let me know. Are you, are you living in South Africa? Maybe I sh I will consider coming to South Africa, and I won't mind if you'll show me around. Tino Sparks. Let me know. Dante will host you very well. Not touching each other. <laughs> oh my God. No no no. I don't want to be hosted by a man. Only only women. But if you're a man, you can show me around. Tino Sparks, I'm a YouTuber in South Africa. Karibu, I will show you around. Tino Sparks, do you follow me on Instagram, mommy? Please go follow me on Instagram. We can link up Tino Sparks for sure. But I really have South Africa in mind. It's either I go to South Africa, but I need visa. So I'm really waiting tomorrow to see if I'll go there. But I'm so optimistic that I'll get a visa. So if I get the South Africa visa, which I'm really working on, for sure. It will be the first. I will have to go to South Africa. Okay. 
Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So Tino Sparks, please follow me on Instagram, okay? Visit Mauritius. Oh, Mauritius is a beautiful country, I'd like to for sure. Following you from Namibia, I love your country, Katrina, Kat, GP, I'll come back. Watching from Vinduk, Team Vinduk. Thank you so much, I really miss Vinduk. Such a beautiful, clean country, okay? Monrovia in Liberia, okay? Watching from Mombasa, Kenya, Hungary, Sanadi. Thank you so much, David Fondo. I really appreciate it. Jamaica is in the south. <laughs> Vida, hey beauty, how you how you doing, dear? Oh, you like me? I wanna, I want women to show me around. <laughs> okay, so guys, um, apparently I don't know, but I can see I really have lots of South African fans. So yeah please go follow me on instagram uh on tuesday i want to say goodbye to this beautiful country i've really enjoyed being here in zambia okay the mutua's world botswana follow me maybe i might come to botswana if not south africa botswana will be my 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 second option but my first option right now is south africa if i don't make it i'll go to botswana okay or zimbabwe or Madagascar, okay. Love you, mobile heart. I love you right back. Thank you so much for the love. I really appreciate. D, I think you should follow your heart, but I say South Africa, okay. Barbara James, thank you so much. Any plans for India? Yeah, oh my god, I really want to come to India. So, best, uh, apparently, next year I might come to India. Juba Bruce watching from Jamaica. Wagwan, one love. <laughs> Smash the like button, guys. So, uh, Somali, wherever you decide to go traveling alone as a beautiful woman, please be careful. Thank you so much. God is always with me, so I'm never scared. Okay. D, you are my role model. You inspire me to start creating content. Still in school here in Kenya, Nyeri, Akim's world. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I really appreciate me. You keep going. Never give up, okay? You're not fair, D. Mwangu. You are in Namibia. You even traveled to Ondoanga. I wanted to meet you in person. You just visit few people. Ishmael Kangulu. Oh, my God. Sorry. But do you follow me on Instagram? Ishmael, before you complain, before you go further, do you even follow me on Instagram? Because if you follow me on Instagram, apparently, it will be easy for you to know where I am and it's so easy for us to meet because every day I always update so if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories and you watch my and uh, you see my post it's so easy even to meet me up. for example I'm in a mall and I always post okay so if you just around you'll be like oh, okay D is just around here so it will be really really easy for us to meet but I don't know but please follow me on Instagram so that I can always meet you more so you guys team D I'll really be happy to meet you, okay? Hmm. Yeah. So guys, I really need your help. Let me know. Go follow me on Instagram. Let me know where you want me to go. And if you're you coming from the southern part of Africa, that's South Africa, uh, Botswana, uh, Zimbabwe, um, Mozambique, Please let me know, okay? Let me know if you want to show me around, if you're a woman and you basically not into family so much, I won't mind staying with you, okay? <laughs> yeah, please, if you're a man, we can just meet up during the day. You can show me around. I won't mind, okay? So guys, I really love you. If you have any question, let me know. I can answer it before we end the live stream because... I basically wanted to tell you that, okay? I really need your help and uh, yeah, let me know if you can help, okay? Okay, so I really appreciate your love and support. Zambia has been amazing. And if you wanna come to Zambia, I just wanna give you some tips, okay? But I wanna say Zambia is one of those countries I can highly recommend. Number one, Zambia is affordable. Here they use kwacha, okay? And uh, let's say a hundred kwacha is like $6, six dollars, six US dollars. But apparently life here is very affordable. Food is available and it's cheap. In a normal day, you can spend, if you're not into like Ulendo, Ulendo is a Uber or Bolt for moving around. If not into that, a hundred kwacha is enough for you to survive in a day here. That's like five to six US dollars.
So life in um, uh, in Zambia is really really affordable. And guys, to crown it all, the Zambians are really really friendly people. I've never met friendly people like Zambians, you know. And Zambia is a Christian nation, so I bet Christianity is so much into them, and so it's a very peaceful country. The people here are amazing, very very friendly. And I don't know, but apparently I've not been scammed or conned here in in Zambia, which is a good thing. So apparently there, there ain't so much scammers here, okay? And that's one of the things I really, really appreciate. I haven't been scammed in any way here in Zambia, which is a good thing, thumbs up. Also even being overpriced because I always go out most of the times alone, I can shop. But they don't really offer price just because I'm not a Zambian. They give you the like the normal price that anybody can buy, which is a good thing about Zambia. So if you wanna go to Zambia, you are highly welcome and people are good, life is affordable here. Uh, moving around is also easy because they have Ulendo, which you can actually just call it. It's more of Uber or Bolt, so you can order it, it can come pick you from wherever you are, show you around. And the, sorry the price is also affordable and yeah zambia is one of those countries they have lots of shopping malls oh my god like i think zambia is one of these countries that have so many shopping malls in africa like malls are everywhere and the malls are really nice they're really big the nightlife here is bomb oh my god i really had a good time the real television natasha if you're watching oh my god i really miss you guys Nightlife in Zambia is really nice, peaceful. Here in Zambia, I've been to Chicago. Chicago, but it's more of westernized. People really have a good time there. It's really organized and uh, and I love it. And uh, the roads also are good. Okay, within Lusaka so far, I can't really complain. So life in Lusaka is affordable. If you want to come here, it's really affordable. You can get a good, beautiful Airbnb for as low as you know ten dollars you're able to get accommodation for those who watch my videos i gave you uh, a tour of my airbnb where i'm coming live from it's really 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 beautiful and i only pay 15 us dollars okay and i just love it everything here is really wonderful so zambia is really affordable and uh majority of the people here are christians and the fact that the president is a Seventh-day Adventist, they got lots of Seventh-day Adventist churches. So I think that's the basic. They also have uh, markets. They have Soweto markets where you can go shop for food, clothes, everything. Like that's the biggest market here. So everything is available. And uh, apart from Lusaka, you can also visit Livingstone, which is one of the major touristic places you can ever visit Livingstone is beautiful it's peaceful and i love the fact that zambia is one of the most peaceful countries you can ever be in okay so if you're planning to visit zambia please grab your bag and go and don't get scared because of money and i feel so far i don't know but i feel zambia is one of the cheapest countries in the southern parts of africa okay Life here is really cheap compared to South Africa, Namibia, those countries life is, a, is, a, is high, okay? The living standards there are high, but Zambia, you get the best at a very, very affordable price, okay? So don't hesitate if you want to come to Zambia. So if you have any questions concerning Zambia, let me know, but for sure it's, it's this one place that you should always visit. And when it comes to the weather, it has been hot. I don't mean like really hot but now it's kind of the onset of rain so the weather is really 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 nice the past three days the weather has been really really good so yeah but if you're coming to Zambia just carry light clothes but December I think December is a rainy season so December apparently you have to travel here with heavy clothes but November I think july august september october november it's pretty hot so if you're coming you need to carry um light clothes but december is the onset of rain so you can carry heavy clothes with you so yeah guys i think that's really basic if you really want to travel to to zambia okay
So guys, meanwhile, let me know. Let me know where do you think I should visit here in the southern part of Africa. Mm -hmm. Which places do not require passport to travel in Kenya? I think in Kenya we have more than 60... Uh, we have more than 68 countries to visit. Okay? Is Africa being among them, the western part of uh, uh, yeah, West Africa, you know? I think it's time Mara should marry you. Oh my God, Mara is my brother. How can my brother marry me? Oh my God, we don't do that in Africa. <laughs> Mara is my elder brother. If you didn't know, I'm not Mara's girlfriend. He's my brother, okay? He's my elder brother. <laughs> but that's just crazy. But I bet you didn't know. So, uh, deadline or D-line. Mara is my elder brother. There's no way he can marry me. Hey, Sita says Zambia is on my bucket list. When I get 5k subs. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Eric says, yo, wait, how many uh, bulls should I bring for your dowry? <laughs> I think 500 bulls is fine. <laughs> okay. But anyway, um, it's me, Isaac. Isaac Phone Solution, watching you from UG Kim. You just sent me here. Oh my God, Kim UG, thank you so much. Hi, love you, D. Doris for Fula. I love you right back. Okay. Uh, Mara is her brother, handsome brother, beautiful sister. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, because he's saying Mara should marry me. Apparently, I guess he doesn't know Mara is my brother. A question Why don't you travel worldwide like your brother? I'm doing it, okay? But next year, I think we'll be out of Africa. So, yeah, it's just next year that we'll be in Africa. Watching, uh, when are you visiting Europe? For sure, I'd love to visit, okay? Soon. I don't know when, but soon, okay? So, guys, I love you all and uh, hope everything is going good with you. Coach Remy Fitness, yo, how are you doing, Remy? Hope you're fine. So guys, please go follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss on any episode. Joan Wilson, hello, how you doing? I'm on the two live. I love you both. Jackie Wambui, thank you so much. That's what I meant, out of Africa. Oh yeah, next year we'll be out of Africa, United States, okay? So worry not. Dylan Mara is a celebrity. <laughs> there's so, eh? there's nothing. It can be between us, please. <laughs> <laughs> guys please go follow me on instagram my link is right there koshremi just shared it so that you can get to connect if i come to your country felix major from kisumu kenya we love you big family felix i really appreciate my brother okay so samuel where you come when are you coming to south africa samuel makola please go follow me on instagram i might be there on tuesday by god's grace okay so go follow me there okay Please, D, what is your advice for new YouTubers? Okay, if you just started YouTube, all I want to say is never give up, okay? And everything is, is valid, dreams are valid. Follow your dreams, follow your heart, love yourself, have the confidence, and just know you are destined to greatness. And also, hard work pays. The more you upload videos, the more, yeah, the more you grow. So don't give up. Just work and and pray all shall be well. And something good with YouTube is the fact that you don't know about tomorrow. You can wake up and you're the next superstar. So never give up. Everything is possible. Okay? Come to UK, please. Oh my god, I'd really love to come. Adrian, you should also visit Romania in Eastern Europe. Yeah, I have some friends from from Romania, so for sure. It's just a matter of time, okay? Uh, I love your lip color. I want to do your full face makeup and uh, and make you wear Indian clothes. Vida, hey, oh my god, I'd really love to visit India. Or should I go to India on Tuesday? <laughs> How is COVID in India? How is the COVID thing in India? Is it so serious? I'd really love to come. I just can't wait. Apparently, I love Indian food. You know, Indians are more of vegetarians, okay? So I'd really love to visit India. Let me know, Vida. Hey, how is the COVID thing in in uh, in India? Is it down? 
Yeah, because I'd really love to come to India. So please let me know in the comment box down below. And actually, I'm going to check my flight, the flight mm. prices mm. of uh, going to India. So yeah, I'll try and apply for the visa, tourist visa. I know I'll get it really quick. And guys, I also have my vaccine. Okay, I'm I'm vaccinated, and uh, I took Johnson vaccine. So yeah, we are good to go. We are good to go. I have my vaccine with me, so yeah, I'm fully vaccinated, so I don't think it will be hard. Go to India. Your channel will grow. Go to India. Yeah, India is such a nice place to go. Yeah, because you know, India, the really, you know, the population is really, really, really high. Okay, and um, Many Indians watch YouTube videos and Indians are really, really, really supportive. And videos can just go viral in India really easily because of the high population and the fact that people really watch YouTube like crazy in India. So, I don't know, but let me check. Maybe after one country, maybe then I can do India. Maybe, hopefully. Maybe if I go to South Africa, then I'll try to apply for for the tourist visa for India, which I know I can, yeah, I can get it. It's not really hard. So yeah, we can also go there. You'll have more subscribers in, in, in India. Okay. Yeah, but for sure we can, we can do India. I love India. I love the culture. I love the food. You know, India is more of, you know, Indians are more of vegetarians. So I won't mind. You write the population here, watch vlogs a lot. Vida Hey Beauty, please follow me on Instagram. Vida Hey, please go follow me on Instagram. Let's discuss about this. Let's see. Let's see how we'll make it there, okay? Vida Hey, please go follow me. Uh, what was your big challenge you encountered during starting days as a YouTuber? Biggest challenge? Okay, for me, apparently, I just don't know, but I rarely see challenges, okay? I rarely see challenges, but it's not that easy. It's hard work, you know, but I can't really say I had lots of challenges. The fact is I really love content creation, and despite the fact I used to be a student, I could still create. Uh, maybe the challenge I can say most people are like, you know, when you're in class, then you tell your friends, you know what, I'm a content creator, please go check me out, and they're like, hmm. You're a YouTuber, and I remember at some point there's a lady who told me, "Yeah, YouTube is not for people like you." <laughs> Her name was Annie. We were in the same university, more university, you know. And she's the only person who made me feel like, "Oh, what is she saying?" But apparently, I can't say I had challenges because I really enjoyed what I do. Um, and I'm also this one person who is really focused. I always don't think about what people say about me. I'm always me, so it's pretty easy to do YouTube if you if you feel the same way. Okay, so Vida Hey Beauty, go follow me on Instagram. Vida is your in law tomorrow, has a lot of interest in her. <laughs> Dylan, no problem, but I think you got it right now. Mara is my elder brother, okay? Uh, Adrian D, even if you're only friends, you should do a live video with uh -huh, to share moments of Africa and Latin. Okay, hopefully next year we'll be together again. Okay, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, D, I'm one of the greatest followers from Northern Uganda. Much love. I love you so much. I caught the village boy. I love you. Uh, are you graduating this year or will be doing or you'll be away doing your stuff of course you know graduation nowadays is online so definitely i'll be graduating mm -hmm. this year december okay but i won't attend like the graduation because it's virtual it's online so hopefully i'll just wear my gown get a gown wear my gown take some pictures for memories and that will be it if at all i find time okay but yeah i'll be graduating but the good thing is it's online so yeah, it's a good thing. I'm already following you, dear. Thank you so much. Inbox me, Vida. Hey, beauty. Inbox me, okay? Doris Wafula. Hello, D. Be careful because COVID-19 can spark up. Okay, but we keep moving. 
<laughs> we keep moving. Covid is everywhere, but God got us covered. When are you coming back to Kenya, D? Honestly, I don't know when I'm coming back to Kenya. It's only God who knows. But I got no plans of coming back to Kenya. But in case there's something that really want to bring me back home, I won't hesitate because east or west home is definitely the best place. So if there'll be any reason for me to come, for sure, I'll come. But meanwhile, I have no I have no plan of coming back home. So So yeah, but I'll come. I'll come to see my mama. <laughs> Uh let me see. I already liked your so many stories is automatically inboxed you. Okay, thank you so much. Your traveling experience will make a good geography teacher. D don't you think so? <laughs> the good thing is the fact that I'm a teacher, you know. So yeah, I just wanna have a story to tell my grandkids, to tell my friends and uh for sure, I'm really enjoying traveling alone. Most of being a solo female traveler is one of the best things ever because I can make my own decisions and there's nobody hold, uh, holding me back or anything. So I'm really enjoying traveling. And also as a female, I feel it's more easy because females, like, it's so easy for people to help us around. It's not hard, okay? So I think traveling as a female content creator it's pretty easy and simple although at times there are challenges but uh yeah we focus on the good part lily lewis hello dear and everyone happy new week i'm at work watching you oh my god thank you so much uh watching bits and pieces of this thank you so much lily i really appreciate please tell your workmates to subscribe <laughs> ah which subjects ah, which subject teacher are you history and kiswahili okay Namibia girl, hi, Aki Nikona, story na wewe. Junior Kering, inbox me on Instagram as Mwango D. If you don't follow me on Instagram, man, what are you waiting for? So go follow me on Instagram, okay? And yeah, <laughs> imagine I broke up with my girlfriend because of content creation. <laughs> wow, anyway, don't mind, don't mind her. She'll be back, she'll be back to you. So it's life. And you have to move forward regardless. So don't worry. Just focus on yourself. Hey, Sita, just focus on yourself. She'll be back to you. Trust me. Don't mind about her. And apparently dating as a content creator is pretty hard. Like, you know, somebody's like, oh, you're all over. I can't be with you. I want you to do this, do that. And it's pretty hard. But don't worry. She'll be, she'll be back to you. She'll be back to you. Just focus on yourself first. Focus on yourself first. Build yourself. And all shall be well. Okay? <laughs> uh, COVID is increasing here, but no one cares. Everyone is on the road. Everything is open here in Delhi, the capital of India. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. So if everything is open, then for sure I should come. Uh, I don't need... I don't need her back since I want to get freedom of moving freely. <laughs> anyway, your life, your choice, but go for what your heart really feels like, okay? Come apply for master's education in the Western University of Tirimiroasa in Romania in September 2022. You'll be accepted easily. <laughs> okay, thank you, but apparently I don't have plans of going back to school. I just want to travel fast, okay? So... I have no plans guys my one degree is apparently enough for now so yeah let's focus on content creation maybe someday <laughs> natalie Nat nathaniel rodrana apps how are you i'm fine my dear how are you doing where baba we talk on namibia just joining men mada nigani um i'm in zambia i left namibia long ago maybe two weeks ago d why don't you try and do some camping videos i love them okay i'll try in my next destination hi d long time Pfizer possible i remember you how you doing my dear date a content creator so that you can travel together yeah that's the easiest thing and it's the best thing that can ever happen so hesita <laughs> do that hi d um I'm Thandi from South Africa. I like your content so much. Oh my God, thank you so much. No, 
tandazo kanyile please follow me on instagram maybe on tuesday i'll be in your country so we can link up you can show me around so yeah i'll be glad yes in india daily everything is open but i'm not sure if flights to india are open yet sorry i'll check i'll check okay i love you so much d from uganda i love you right back thank you so much um chaumba bondo saying how much has been your highest paycheck zambia loves you <laughs> i don't like discussing about money nakiba bambu you already machaches i'm fine mbuyande junior kering i love the namibian content it was real and truly african oh my junior kering thank you so much please consider sharing them to your friends okay no tamdonzo kanyile please go follow me on tuesday i might be in south africa okay so don't hesitate to follow me how are you doing today love i'm fine to jovi kati geneva I hope I pronounce it really well. Vanessa, I see you watching from New York City. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. So guys, I think that's going to be the end of today's live stream. When are you coming to the Caribbean next year, hopefully, okay? Zanet D says hi D, hi, how you doing? Uh you are opening travel doors for all us marketing strategy is top on. Thank you so much, Ishmael. Dante, what challenges do you receive when traveling? The major challenge that I always have while traveling but guys, I don't know, but to be honest, I don't feel like I always have challenges when traveling. Honestly, like my travels have been really 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 smooth apart from scammers, but not in every country. Here in Oh, we are back. So apparently I don't have challenges while traveling but the worst thing that always breaks my heart is when I get scammed. When you when I land in a country or when I arrive in a country and uh you know maybe I want to move around and somebody ends up overcharging me more so when it comes to taxis and that only happened in Namibia but so far all is always well I can't complain God is always with me so I normally don't have challenges. Every day is a new day. I'm always happy. I always meet new people. And the fact that I always make friends in every country that I go. Oh my god. You know, for those who have ever met during my travels, you know how we connect, you know. So, me I can't complain. I don't I've never encountered any problem during my travels like really a bad encounter where I ended up crying or what. So, all has been well with me okay give the video a like if you just join oh yes they will be waiting for you here in south africa you are most welcome bet muicharo please follow me on instagram maybe on tuesday i'll be in south africa bet bet muicharo please go follow me on instagram so that we can connect okay oh my god coach remy thank you so much for donating 10 euros oh my god it really means a lot coach remy at times i'm like what did i really do to this guy but coach remy thank you so much my god bless you just one in a million coach remy thank you helena says hi d much love from namibia coach remy do you follow me on instagram i've never seen you on instagram please coach remy go follow me on instagram okay Hi D, much love from Namibia. I love you right back. I love your country. Namibia is beautiful. Okay? Uh you're so friendly, I guess. We are here beauty here. <laughs> But only to people with positive vibes. <laughs> Focus much on village life. Okay. Ah, uh, I love being all round. I love challenges. So, but village life is a must do in every country that we go. Okay? So, So yeah. So somebody says uko fiti sana big up ghetto boy. Oh my god, thank you so much uh, ghetto boy. I really appreciate. We love you. Continue showing us about village life. Lots of love, D. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. You people it seems that you really love village life. So I don't know if in South Africa there's village life, but I'll try and see. <laughs> Would you say traveling is hard? I can say traveling is expensive but not hard. Okay? But if you have money, 
everything is there for you but traveling is not hard it's really enjoyable it's really 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 enjoyable okay yes i follow oh wow please inbox me inbox me inbox me okay um okay so guys i think that wanna be the end of the live stream thank you so much for joining i really appreciate uh, i have been praying for you and god bless patrick sako thank you so much i really appreciate thank you so much for your prayers you guys when you pray also remember me okay always remember me in your prayers uh coach remy thank you so much my brother for sharing the link Please, guys, go follow me on Instagram. Let's get to 20K. Right now, we are on 10K. So if you get to 20K, that will be really good of us, okay? If anyone, again, Chokosa, you tell us we fight. <laughs> I don't really advocate for fights. I advocate for peace. I just joined Don't Go, Derek Dalva. Oh, my God, how you doing? Good evening, D, watching you from Onga Village, Namibia. Oh, wow. I was in your village. I was Losalia Los Samuel. I was in Onga Village, okay? I even have a video of, uh, of village life in Onga at Sizzless Diaries Place. Onga is beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much. I really miss your village. <laughs> um, and Oshiwambo living in England. I'm so happy you went to Namibia. Oh, thank you so much. Writing pie. Yeah, I really enjoyed Oshiwambo culture, the dressing, the pub, oh my god. And if there's a country that I feel they really take care of their culture is Namibia. You know, the culture never dies, the culture never dies. And I really, really appreciate the culture, the Oshiwambo culture, the food, Mopani worms, oh my god. <laughs> I really had enough fun you know we went to the dam in Onga village oh my god it was really really amazing the food and i really liked the the bean soup i went to sizzless daddy's village in Onga. they cooked for us pap some dry meat and uh you know and also amarula oil oh my god like now maybe Namibia is one of these countries that I should always go back. Guys, if you're looking for a honeymoon destination, Namibia has one of the beautiful beach that I've ever come across, the Strands Hotel. For those who know where the Strands Hotel is located in Namibia, Namibia is beautiful and it has lots of places to visit. I was in Swakop, Walvis Bay, oh my God. Shout out to my country manager. She really took good care of me, taking me around. Ha, huh? guys, Namibia is beautiful. <laughs> I really appreciate, I really, you know, I really love Namibia with all my heart. Mbega uh Lufuzu, -huh. how you doing? I love you so much, how you doing, my dear? I'm in Namibia, we drive, we drive at any age. Oh, wow, yeah, another thing about Namibia is the fact that people really have good cars. And I, apparently, I feel in Namibia, people are not suffering. That's a rich country, you know. According to my observation, they have good roads. I mean, good roads everywhere. And the fact that everybody drives a big machine. And life there is expensive, but people are living really good. The houses there are good. Everything there is good. So I think Namibia is, <laughs> is a country full of rich people. Like in Namibia, people are not struggling, okay? I was there and I know what I'm speaking about. And the fact that the population is really low, only 2. Point, is it 2.2 .2 million? The whole country so when you go there for me i felt like the streets are empty but at the same time it's a good thing okay i really love namibia guys if you want to go to namibia please don't hesitate i love your nails show sure, please oh these are my nails can you see them i made them here i really love blue so mm, those are my nails <laughs> Guys, let me know. Are you a fan of blue? So apparently, I just need. I just wanted a, just a, just a normal gel, and uh, yeah, that's how they look. I really love them, and they're my natural nails. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, my natural nails. Yeah. So always love yourself, okay? So guys, apparently, I think wanna come to the end of the video of the live stream. Thank you so much for joining. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And please share the videos to your friends and relatives. 
And if you don't follow me on Instagram, please go follow me so that we can link up in case we meet. I, I land in your country, okay? Please go follow me. Vida says don't go. <laughs> I need to freshen up, take care of some issues because tomorrow I have a lot to do. As, as I'm planning, it should be my last day here tomorrow, okay? So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Please keep safe. You and Tigress will travel together. Yeah, we might maybe link up in South Africa and... Uh, yeah, she's a good friend of mine so yeah she can be a good travel buddy of course we are good 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 best friends so yeah so guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate i love you all keep safe dreams are valid never give up okay and i always love this quote uh by by martin luther king he says if you cannot fly run if you cannot run uh, walk if you cannot walk crawl by all means keep moving and always be you know always have the heart of gratitude you know the fact that you know the fact that you got another opportunity to to get it right is another blessing the fact that you can get something to eat is another blessing the fact that you're beautiful or you handsome is another blessing the fact that you have somewhere to call home is another blessing so always have a heart of gratitude of what you already have and remember brighter days are coming bad days never last so always keep moving work on yourself never give up and yeah dreams are valid but first start by loving yourself when you love yourself you can learn how to love somebody else so always you know uh just have the heart of gratitude and all shall be fine when you uh when you have the heart of gratitude appreciating the things that you already have also the things that you don't have when you pray to god they definitely find you okay and always feel like what was meant for you will always find you no matter what okay so <laughs> your motivation really inspired me oh my god thank you so much and guys i'd love to encourage all of us actually let me give you a secret what keeps me moving is the fact that i always listen to lots of motivational talks okay i love steve harvey talks i really love his talks he says if you can look up you can get up i really like that about him so always listen to motivational talks when you wake up when you wake up don't just go to instagram to youtube the first thing just go to youtube and just have some motivational uh uh listening have a session for yourself get motivated people like steve harvey are one of my best people les brown is my favorite oh my god i really love les brown okay i really love les brown with all my heart you know you know les brown is this man who really keeps me going you know and i love how he preached about not giving up you know like i really love his talks okay also martin luther king may he continue resting in peace but he also has a lot and good motivational talks also barack obama i love how he speaks also lupita nyomo oh my god so guys when you wake up in the morning just have have a have a habit of have, listening to motivational talks before you start your day it's gonna really help you grow okay so please if you don't listen to martin luther king les brown steve harvey what are you doing what are you waiting for please go listen to them the next time we'll be having a live stream tell me what you've learned from them okay vanessa says blessings d thank you for educating us all about the truth of life in africa your motivators here in the diaspora oh my god vanessa thank you so much i really appreciate and lots of love from africa okay so best motivation is ayamara i watch him day and night he works hard every day <laughs> wow thank you so much for supporting my brother for those who don't know ayamara he's my elder brother please head on to his youtube channel subscribe and for sure you won't regret miss blessing good evening host good evening all the best thank you so much anyway guys bye bye see you soon on my next video maybe in the next country or in the next destination don't forget to follow me on instagram so that you can get updated if at all in, i'm in your country we can always meet okay anyway guys have a good night for those who it's night for those who it's 
it's daytime have a good day remember i love you all and all is possible and the power lies within your hands okay everything is possible anyway guys bye bye dante bye we love you and I love you, bye back. I love you all. Bye bye.